Well, how's the business? Wrong day to go. Monthly lawn bowls competition. Pop couldn't drag himself away. Yeah, when I think about the trouble we had getting him into the place, now I can't get him out of the place. Well, as long as he's happy and enjoying himself. <laughs> Listen, did, um, did her arrive safely? Yep, she's fine. Nelson's looking after her for the day. And don't worry, Sally, I asked him to because I was too busy. So, um, what's she like? Interesting. Did I tell you I'm going to die from a rare genetic disorder? So you were going to kill yourself when you turned 21? Yeah, that's why. To escape the horrible, painful death it causes, wrapped in agony as the insides all melt. Uh, hello. I'd like you to meet Pippa. Hello. Welcome to the house. I hope you'll be very happy with us. Hi. This is Sam and Sally. Hi. Hi. Nelson's told me all about you. He's really sweet, isn't he? You wouldn't believe what he's done to me today. Oh, God, I, I nearly forgot. I promised Irene I'd clean up before she gets out. Hey, do you want to see me out, sir? You want to know something, Sam? I'm going to die from this very rare and painful genetic disorder. Oh, I missed you, Sal. Nelson, I should go away more often. <laughs> no, don't. Please don't. Oh, you know you're weird sometimes, but you're cute. <laughs> Shame. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you a fright. That's all right. I, I just wasn't expecting anyone. I dropped in your place, but I figured, seeing as you weren't there, you'd probably be working late here. Yeah, yeah. Mark as usual. No escape, I'm afraid. <laughs> Is there something wrong? Dylan's got leukemia. Oh, my God. Shame. Yeah, we've been down at the city. The children's hospital for the last couple of days. I just can't believe it. Have they told you for sure? Yeah, it looks like it's in the early stages. But they're still waiting on test results. How's Angel? Oh, well, you know, hanging in there. If there's, if there's anything you need, anything at all, sure. You know, huh? I'll let you know. This must be terribly hard for you as well. I just keep asking myself why. Seems to be one disaster after another for me and Angel. So somebody up there's really got it in for us. We've been going out for about a month now. What do you think of him? Definitely cute. <laughs> He's so lucky. I don't know when I'm going to get to see my boyfriend again. Why? Where is he? Boarding school. He's from a really rich family, but his parents don't approve of me, so they send him away. We still get to see each other sometimes. I'll sneak into his room or he'll climb over the fence to come see me. It's pretty risky. Yeah, but if you really love someone, you'll always find a way to be together. What would you know? People can love each other heaps, but they still get broken up and they can't do anything about it. Good one, Jack. Make it feel welcome, I don't you? So I'm just going for a walk. I don't feel like any dinner. What? Why? The substation up the road. Do you know how much radiation it gives off? It's probably caused the leukemia. We don't know that. And all the pain we sanded off before we moved in. It's full of lead. There's evidence linking that to cancer too. And you'll nobody knows why you get leukemia. Remember the doctor said so. It could be anything. It could even be hereditary. So it's my fault he's sick. No, I didn't say that. Well, that's that. what it sounds like, Shane. It's a pretty horrible shame. Angel, finding someone or something to blame isn't going to help Dylan. Or us. Maybe you're right, though. It is my fault. Mum threw me out when I was pregnant. I didn't eat properly for weeks. That must have affected me. It's not your fault. It's no one's. Dylan's got it. What matters now is what we're going to do about it. My life being unfair. <laughs> I'm sick of bad things happening for no reason. I have to know what caused because then I could do something about it. Instead of just sitting here, watching my son get sicker and sicker and being helpless to stop it. So if there's anything I can do, anything, I'll do it. Well, I'm sorry, but... Are you alright? I'm practicing being dead. Why? Haven't you ever wondered what it's like? Oh, yeah? Imagine your own funeral. <laughs> Thanks. Could you still see and hear people? 
Could you watch them file past your coffin and listen to all the nasty things they're saying about you? People don't say nasty things at funerals. They did at my mother's funeral. They said the most horrible, awful things about her. Oh, Heather, I'm sorry. And what about getting buried? What if you can see them throwing the dirt in, but you can't yell out to stop? Pretty hung up on all this, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop thinking about it. Can you? Don't start thinking about it to begin with. But anyway, it's my turn to take out the garbage, so I better go and do that. Has Nelson told you about us yet? We didn't mean it, Sally. It, it just happened. I didn't kiss her. All right. So your lips and Heather's just accidentally bumped together. She kissed me. There's a difference. But you let her kiss you. It happened so fast. I didn't have a chance to stop her. Okay, I'll show you. Kiss me. Right. That's what happened. Now, this is what happened when I kiss her. You know what's about these things? It was tetramet. They've got all these chemicals in the house, Shane, and we have no idea what they could be doing to us. Angel, they don't sell things that aren't safe. I'm not taking any chances. They're all gone. And I want to start a veggie patch. Then I can be sure that everything Dylan is eating is completely safe. I think you're taking this a little too far. His life is at stake. How can he go too far for that? And I'm going to pull him out of preschool as well. Why? What possible harm could preschool do? The chemotherapy could make him prone to infection. I'm not going to risk exposing him to those kind of germs. That's why the house has to be completely spotless. Uh, sorry, Bargin. Um, I did knock and no one answered. And, uh, well, the door was open. So no, that's fine. Sorry, we mustn't have heard you. Yeah. Uh, well, I, uh, I brought some dinner for you. I did I think you'd feel up to anything. Oh, thanks, Don. That's really nice of you. It's all right. Um, I haven't come at an awkward time, I hope. No, no, not at all. Um, do you want a cup of tea? Angel? Not for me, thanks. Can't you leave this for half an hour? Shane, it's all right. For God's sake, I, I don't care about tea. The only thing that's important to me right now is what happens to Dylan. Well, it is to me anyway. Angel, what's wrong? Shane, I'm not going to be a Oh, can someone get that kettle too, please, Heather? You will just help yourself. It's the quicker the dead round here. Don't say that word. You start it off again. Okay, who would like to do me a favour and drop the PNC stuff over to Mr. Fisher at the school? Oh, not for me. I'm going for a swim with Nelson. <laughs> so, it's a pupil-free day. That means you're supposed to study or go to the beach? Yeah, but I hardly saw him yesterday. Oh, that's so sad. Has anyone got a spare tissue? Jack, looks like the job's yours. Now, I'm working off the kiosk. Drop them off on your way. Anyone wants me, I'll be in van six. G'day, Shane, right on time. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I haven't had much sleep over the last couple of nights. Yeah. Is everything all right? Well, no, not exactly. We just got some bad news. Dylan's got leukemia. What? Shane! Listen, mate, forget about work. Go home. Dylan needs you, so does Angel. Well, I don't think she does. You see, she's turned into some kind of one-woman battle. Last night she accused me of not caring. I just had to get out for a while. Do you want me to have a look at that? Yeah, could you please? Maybe that'll help. Because I sure as hell don't know what will. Thanks a lot, mate. Hello, mate. 